Boys and Girls Club of Hawaii offers continual outreach to more than 14,000 children and teenagers, mainly through after-school programming. But the club's annual scholarship contest, Youth of the Year, has been keeping some select teens pretty busy. KITV4 News this morning's Amber Lynn Hyden caught up with them before the big competition. Normally the kids practice inside this teen center going through mock interview panels, table topics and rehearsing their speeches. This past weekend, practice moved to the bowling alley to help blow off some steam. It wasn't all fun, though. A vision about my future. They still had to practice before heading in. When you first go up there, it feels like you just can't do it. But then when you're done, it's like you just got with the weight off your chest. Because you're letting everybody know you're, who you are, really, and how you, how you came to be the person you are today. And thanks to the Boys and Girls Club, I Overcoming adversity and proving to be a role model is what qualified each of these kids as a Youth of the Year candidate. These kids have rough childhoods. Uh, many, many grow up in broken homes. You know, some have witnessed some tragic events when they were kids, you know, um, their father being taken away to jail, you know, almost witnessing a murder, you know, some drastic broken home families. So a lot of these kids to where they are now, it's kind of amazing, you know, what the Boys and Girls Club can, can do for these kids. 18-year-old Dixie Castillo says she grew up homeless, making it hard to find friends at school. But with the help of the Boys and Girls Club of Hawaii, she's been able to power through her insecurities. They made me be comfortable with it. Like, don't be, don't be ashamed of where you came from. Stand up for who you are. I do want to take the experience of public speaking and especially mock interviews in my life so I can get a better career, a successful future. And I think I will. One, two, three. You do the year. While this upcoming weekend, James, Dixie, David, and Shelly will be competing for the title of Youth of the Year. Today, they're just vying for a 300 game. Amberlyn Hyden, KITV4 News. The winner of the Regional Youth of the Year will move on to the state competition and eventually to the national contest. The scholarship award is on the state level. On the state level is $10,000 and $15,000 for the National Youth of the Year winner.